Hello guys. So with these three ingredients you can probably see that I'm going to be making my own clothes soap. Um, I got all these ingredients at Walmart. These are my last two. So you can use the Fells Nepta or you can use the Zote. And this is what's called washing soda when you see it in all of the ads for making your own soap. It's Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And the side has split on it, so I need to use it. This is borax, 20 mule team borax. This also split the side, and I need to use it. So what you're going to do first, first of all, let me tell you the cost. So this all goes in a five-gallon bucket. Now, um, the borax is $2.99 at Walmart. You can find it even cheaper. You can even find it at, at um, like the 99-cent store and stuff. This is also $2.99, and this is $0.97. Cents. So it basically comes out to be $1.97 to make your own laundry soap, which is a pretty good deal. And you know what's in your soap, these three things. So the first thing you're going to do is most people grate the Felsnepta. I don't. You're going to take a pan and put four cups of water with it and bring it to a boil. And you're going to, um, you can go ahead and grate this if you want to. I, I, I just think it's a pain. I, I think it's a waste of time. So what I'm going to do, I just chunk it up. I just cut it into chunks. See that? if you can see that or not. So I just chunk it. You don't want to get it all over the place. But the reason people grate it is because it, it um, melts faster. But you can get the same result without having to get out your grater. So you just put it in the water until um, in, when it, until it's all melted. Okay, so I'm going to let this melt. Okay, so while that is melting, you're going to take your bucket, a five-gallon bucket. Now these, they're called gamma lids. And I love them because they screw on. Those other things, I, I, I would break a finger getting them off. So you're going to fill this up with um, hot water. Halfway. You're only going to fill it halfway. guest bathroom. I only use it to make soap in the tub. <laughs> okay, so it's coming up on halfway. Okay. So you're going to fill that halfway and then go back and check on the soap. Okay, so this takes a good 10 minutes. For all the soap to melt and I just use my potato masher make sure it's all nice and melted you need to keep an eye on this because it'll start foaming foaming it'll foam over the pan okay okay so I don't feel any chunks and if there is they'll, it'll melt in the water okay so you turn this off 
And now you're going to take this and you're going to pour it into the bucket. That bucket you put halfway full of hot water. Now you're going to pour this into the bucket. You stir it around. Okay. Make sure you get all the little pieces and stuff out. So now you're going to do one cup of the Arm & Hammer washing soda and one cup of borax. You're going to put them in the tub. So this is the borax. And now one cup of the Arm & Hammer super washing powder. You're going to mix it together. And now you can add your essential oil. So let me go get my oil. So I'm choosing to use lemongrass oil. Now, many of you know that I have used and, and I sell doTERRA essential oils. I've been doing it for many, many years. Um, but I, I like this lemongrass from this company, especially when I do my laundry soap. I just seem, it's, and, and I'm really stingy when it comes to my doTERRA, so I'd rather use this. <laughs> so it's only how many drops you want. So, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 drops. Stir it around. Oh, it smells good. You can add orange, you can add lavender, whatever you want. Okay. So now we're going to take this back to the bathroom. Follow me through my house. So I'm going to put this back in the tub. And you fill it the rest of the way with hot water. Okay? And you're going to put your lid on it. This is a gamma lid. You can get them at Winco, you can get them online. I pay about, I don't know, three bucks, three or four bucks. You get the, you get the lid and the seal, the ring. This ring pops onto the top of any five gallon bucket, which allows you, whoops, allows you to screw it on. Okay, so I made a mistake. This is the complete set. Even though, so this, I grabbed the wrong seal. So that's this, that's the ring. This, this is how it comes at Winco. It's the ring right here and the top. So I found the other one outside. So you're going to, after you get it filled, stir it up really good. And put the, put the um, ring on. Turn it on, and you're going to let it set for 24 hours. Now, when you open it back up, it's going to be like gelatin, and it, it, that's how it's supposed to be. Some people don't like it like that, and they use their immersion blender and stir it up again. I don't care. You can scoop out um, your measurement either in the gel or the mixed-up form. When, after 24 hours, I just use my potato masher and stir it around. So here's the instructions. For a front loader washing machine, the, the new ones now, it's going to be a half a cup. If you have the old tiny ones where the lid lifts up on the top, that's going to be a full cup. So um, this lasts, my gosh, it's just me and my husband. It lasts forever. So, um, but this is about $1.97 for a load of laundry soap. And you made it yourself, and it's living within your means. You could add any essential oil to it. So what it is, is the Fels Nepta soap, or the Zote, Z-O-T-E, and Borax, and the Arm & Hammer washing soda. That's it.
and then you can put in an essential oil if you'd like. But that is it. My soap is made. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Have a cool day, y'all. Peace out.